to kind of redo and reorganize some things in my room but yeah it's gonna cost some money so <laughs> while I am contemplating and trying to figure out what I want to do I've just kind of been going through different makeup products that I have so I pulled out all of my face palettes and the reason why I you know say it like that is because of the fact that most of these are face palettes, meaning, you know, they have like highlighter, blush, bronzer, contour, stuff like that all in one palette. But some of them are either just duos or trios where it might just be blush and highlight or it might just be contour and highlight, you know, blush and bronzer, whatever. So that is what I am taking a look at today. I don't think that I'm going to be doing it a clutter. Honestly, I was thinking I was or hoping I was but as I kind of started just looking at some of the things I have I'm actually quite content <laughs> with my collection as you know as many as I have I'm actually quite content so I might come across one two maybe three that I can declutter but I really just want to go through and share them with you guys so you know you can take a look maybe it's something you're interested in or something that you have and you forgot about it but anyway I know I'm always yap yap yapping but let's just go ahead and start taking a look at my face palettes because um, I just want to look at them okay so this first one here I actually used this one not too long ago in one of my shot my stashes this is my ColourPop uh, cheek palette and this one is in the shade sweet roll so they came out with these not too long ago that had like the bronzer or contour the highlighter and the blush and this is the one I have I believe this is the deepest one and it's super duper pretty so of course this one is staying in my collection for sure now this here this Becca and Chrissy Teigen face palette this one what is it called it's the glow face palette and it's so pretty look at the packaging it's so gorgeous I don't know if you can see that it has her little signature there with a heart this was actually given to me <laughs> by uh, one of my girls DJ sent this to me and while of course this um, what is it brontour <laughs> brontour bronzer won't do anything for me the highlighters and the blush is actually really really pretty like for a nice soft glow they're really really gorgeous so yeah i'm definitely going to be keeping this you know very nice gift it's very pretty this here is actually a palette that <laughs> i put together as you can see it's just some magnetic palettes these are are these all from oprah i don't know they might not even have names on them but i think i pulled these out of one of my ofra palettes and i just kind of threw these together because i felt like this would be like a cute little blush bronzer and highlight palette that i could use just from these shades that i picked and it's actually really really nice really pretty this one here is kind of like shimmery so it's like a glowy type blush these highlighters are gorgeous and then this bronzer is really pretty so this is just a little magnetic palette that i have you know that i created myself now i have a couple of these palettes from sephora this one is the spice market which is one of my favorites if you're familiar with my channel i love taking this palette with me to travel because <laughs> it's just it's an excellent travel palette all of these items work beautifully for me um this really light uh highlight here can be used you know it's like an inner corner pop or a brow bone highlight very pretty but the blushes and the bronzers in here 
gorgeous just perfect so i really like this one now this is another one here from sephora i bought this you know from the sales section i couldn't resist it knowing full well i didn't need this this one is called the holographic face and cheek palette so it has like these holographic um highlighters on the top you can see i still got the sheet in here but it has the pretty holographic shimmers or highlighters on the top and then the gorgeous blushes on the bottom so yeah, I haven't used this yet, but it's actually really, really pretty. You know, those days when you want to kind of do something different with your highlight or use them, you know, on your eyes as well. So this, I think, might be my last Sephora uh, face palette. This one really is just blush and highlight, I believe. It's called Empower. It's the Trio face palette. And Sephora actually has some really nice quality makeup. But this is what this blush and highlighter looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I definitely have <laughs> used the blush in this highlighter for sure. And it's really, really nice. So here I have the two Tammy Times Revolution face palettes. This one is the Paradise Glow. Packaging, so cute. So this one, yeah, I think this one is the lighter one. You know, she came out with one that's deeper. So this is Paradise Glow. Very pretty with the blush, bronzer, contour, and highlight in there. And then this other one here, what is this called? This one's the Golden Hour. Same pretty packaging, yeah. So this one is just a bit deeper. So I actually love both of these. Um, this one is a little dark for me on the contour side or bronzer. Is that bronzer? It's contour, yeah. A little bit deep for me, but the blushes and the highlight, oh, yeah, it's so gorgeous. Very, very pretty. Like this bronzer here, I could use as a deep blush, quite honestly. So, really pretty. Now, this is extremely new to my collection. If you watched my haul, this is my Jacqueline, what is it called? bronze and blushing duo so this one is in the shade b rouge and espresso shot and <laughs> i cannot wait to try this out i actually might try it before i switch out my shot my stash just because i'm curious of how this is going to look on my face you know my skin tone but it is really really pretty and i love this packaging so I also have in here this It's My Ray Ray. This is actually her BH Cosmetics palette. And the reason why I put it with my face products is because I never, never use this palette. I just don't. I mean, it's a really pretty palette, you know, but it's just really not my style. So I felt like if I put it with my face products, maybe I would use it more, you know, because the um contour or bronze is that bronzer it's called brownie bite i guess you can use it for whatever it works for but yeah it looks more like a contour to me but that along with the highlighters are really really nice quite honestly and i felt like i might use it more if i put it with my face products <laughs> we all know that didn't happen <laughs> So I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep this. It's hard for me to say goodbye to it because I love uh, Ray Ray. But yeah, that one might end up going bye-bye. <laughs> so this is actually a duo. It's my Colored Rain and Power Duo. That's what the packaging looks like. It's a blush and a highlighter in shade My Day One. And I bought this, you know, when they did the Power Collab. Oh my gosh, I fell in love with this. I could not stop gushing over it. It's so pretty. It's so bomb. And I believe they just came back out with blush and highlight duos, if I'm not mistaken. And this might be one of them, but just in their own packaging. You know, not the collab packaging, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But I know they did come out with some duos recently. And I don't know if it's the same ones, but... I love this one. So this here is uh, from Tarte. This one is the, I believe it's called the Clay Play. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Clay Play. Bought this when it was on sale, of course. Definitely did not need this. But this, this is a very nice quality palette. I will say that. <laughs> the quality on this is very, very nice. And funny enough you know of course i can use these different shades the dark shades and light shades in my eye looks 
um, but this is pretty much the only shade I would use out of this palette and when I used it I was very pleasantly surprised this bronzer looks amazing on me <laughs> so I'm really happy that I bought it just for that because I was pretty surprised that this actually works quite nicely on me and I really like it other than that definitely not something I needed in my collection but it worked out so over here I have this face palette from the lip bar I've talked about this a few times because I pull it with my shop my stash and I do travel with it so this is called the Vogue minute finish face palette love this palette okay if you're looking for like just an all-in-one something that works nicely on you know a skin tone similar to mine this is excellent I love this it's so so pretty and yeah I'm pretty sure I'll be keeping this until <laughs> until it goes bad or until I finish it very nice now this here it's funny I bought this never used it this is actually a contour well matte blush and contour collection palette from beauty treats now the only products I really you know buy or trust from beauty treats <laughs> at this point are like the blushes um they're very very affordable and very nicely pigmented so i do like their blushes so this is a blush palette but it does have this contour in here like i said i haven't used this palette yet but the blush shades are really really gorgeous so and like i said beauty treats is extremely affordable so yeah if you're looking for a nice blush palette try them out i have a couple of other blush palettes from them that i've used for years and years and years and they're absolutely amazing now i do have my two juvia's place the saharan blush palettes this is volume one um and the reason why i keep this like with my face palettes is because even though it's a blush palette there are some highlighters in here um and this shade here even though it does pull a bit plum like you can definitely use that to contour your face a bit you know if you just want to kind of mold and shape your face you know your cheekbones and stuff you can definitely use that for that purpose you know as well as a blush so yeah i consider this more of a face palette for me for that reason now this one here is definitely more like a blush palette. This one is volume two. It's the lighter version. And I don't really use this one that often because of the fact that it is the lighter version. <laughs> but the blushes in here are really gorgeous, especially this one and this one. Oh, so pretty. This one is gorgeous too. It has a bit of that shimmer in there. But this one also has this tone, which I think if you are a more fair skin tone, you can probably bronze with this. You know, if you're fair, light, um, this will probably work for you to do that. And then there's this lighter shade here, which would probably be a nice highlighter for fair skin tones. So yeah, in my opinion, it's definitely more of a face palette. Now this one here, quite honestly, is definitely more so of like an eye and blush palette. This is Fumi's Queen palette. Oh, so, so gorgeous. Um, I keep this with like my blush and highlight because it does have these two gorgeous highlighters in here along with these beautiful bold shades which can be used for the eyes as well as the cheeks. So very, very nice face palette. This one is fairly new. I picked this up from Profusion not too long ago, ago. It's called the Blush and Glow. So yeah, I'm surprised I haven't used it yet, quite honestly, because I am very curious about this. But you know, too many makeups. <laughs> so gorgeous, gorgeous blushes in here. I don't think either of these will do anything for me, of course. And then you have these pretty highlighters. You have your golden highlighter and then your icy highlighter. So yeah, we'll see on this, but I really don't. That It looks kind of olive to me, quite honestly, and I'm not olive, so I don't think that's going to work for me. But the blushes and this highlighter for sure. Okay, guys, so let's pull down another bin and let's see what I have in here. Okay, <laughs> so let's go ahead and start off with these 
cute little trios from Beauty Bakery. Now, what I will say about these Beauty Bakery little face palettes, I have the Neapolitan Bar and the Brownie Bar. I was so freaking excited to buy these and I hate to say it, but I was disappointed. Now, granted, I only used them maybe twice, but that was because I was disappointed. <laughs> now, these palettes are really, really pretty, and honestly, I feel like I need to give them another shot. I will, you know, go ahead and play with these again in the near future because I'm really, really curious as to what I just didn't care for. It seems like it was the pigmentation, to be honest with you. They're really pretty, as you can see here, bronzer, highlight, blush, but something about it just didn't do it for me. But I'm going to give them one more shot before I get rid of them. But if I don't like them the next time, yeah, they're going bye-bye. So that one is the Neapolitan. This one is the Brownie Bar, which just has the um, bronzer, contour, and highlight. Now, I do recall really liking this highlight, but as far as like the contour and the bronzer, not so much. But the highlighter, very, very pretty. Let me just, I'm not gonna be swatching y'all because y'all know that I'll be here all day if I start swatching. But yeah, see the highlighter is really pretty, but I don't know, for some reason, I just wasn't feeling the other face products and like I said maybe it was like I'm using my viewfinder for a mirror so yeah maybe it was just the bronzer and the contour was okay I don't know but I'm gonna use it again just to check it out but I don't remember having a good experience with these okay so next I have here my revolution and Patricia bright face palette this one is Dust Till Dawn. If I remember correctly, I think she came out with three different varieties, at least two, I know. But this is the one I got. I believe it was the deepest for sure. And I love this trio. <laughs> Another perfect trio. Every item in here works amazing for me. Nicely affordable, you know, for Revolution, I guess. But yeah, very, very pretty. Now this one here, one of my favorites, I actually pulled this from my shop, my stash, so I had to grab it out of my drawer so I can um, show it to you guys. This is the Pure 4-in-1 um, Skin Perfecting Powder Face Palette, and this one is in Dark Deep. Yeah, I love this palette though. Absolutely one of my favorites. It's gorgeous. I love it. Now this one here, another really, really nice face palette. This one is from Morphe. I was so excited when I saw them come out with these. This is the 8D, you know, 8 Deep. <laughs> and she's gorgeous. Look at her. Look at her. Beautiful contour bronzers. It has, um, what do they call this? A brightener shade, you know, blushes. A glowy blush and then highlighter so yeah this is a really really nice face palette from Morphe I was actually pretty surprised when I bought this and tried it out because you know you never know with Morphe but this one is actually really nice if you're looking for an all-around face palette I like it a lot now these here let's see these are more of like duo type face palettes this is a Revolution Pro blush and glow so this is a blush and highlighter trio where you get, you know, your highlighter, your blush, and then kind of like a glowy blush. Love, love, love these. <laughs> if you like glowy blush, and it's so funny, you guys, I used to hate glowy blush. I used to be like, who wants their cheeks shining? Like, who wants a glowy blush? Why? da 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 Because I was a matte fiend. I liked everything matte, 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 matte. But now, you know, I'm really into that kind of like dewy, glowy look that, you know, is like really hot and everything right now. And plus, you know, as you get older and you have hot flashes, sometimes you have no choice but to glow. <laughs> so, but anyway, I love, love, love this little trio. It's so gorgeous. It's so freaking pretty. If you guys have seen me swatch this in my shop mustaches and stuff, then you know it's really pretty. Now this one here is a Sculpt and Glow. It's a contour and highlight palette from Revolution Pro. Revolution has just been like knocking it out the box recently. I don't really go for too many of their eyeshadow palettes anymore because I have like 5,000 of them that I don't use. So I kind of chill on the palettes for now, but their complexion, 
bronzers, highlighters, blush. They have just been like really doing the thing. So definitely check them out, you guys, because they are affordable. So yeah, this is the you know contour and highlight. And I actually like this as well. It worked out really nicely for me. So let's see, what do I have here next? This is from Revolution. This is from their XX Revolution line. This is the Dimension face palette okay and it kind of looks intimidating you know like you might look at this and be like oh my goodness that is just too bold too bright too deep but this looks amazing on darker skin tones like me this this it works it works i was actually really nervous to use this but it's beautiful you guys the blush the highlight the bronzer is beautiful okay don't be scared of this I like it. It's nice. So next I have here my Cover Effects face palette. Another one I got from Boxy, of course. This is the Perfector face palette in medium deep. And I don't know if I've heard anyone who has this palette say that they don't like it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. But I haven't heard anyone say they don't like it. And me personally, I love it. I do. It's... It works really, really well. This, I mean, the bronzer, these blush, this highlight, it's like, it's just so nice. I think the only thing I really don't use is the finishing powder, because I don't really do finishing powders like that. But the bronzer, the blush, and then all three of these highlighters up here, amazing. So I love this palette. As you can see, it's a little, a little beat up. <laughs> I need to clean it up. Okay, so next I have this monster of a palette here. This is uh, one of my Sephora Pro Face palettes. This one I believe, yeah, this one is the deep, okay? I also have the medium, which, you know, was really some clown stuff for me to buy that when it was on sale, because honey, that mug is way too light. But anywho, this is the deep, and <laughs> the deep is gorgeous really really nice another palette where like i said i don't think i've heard anyone who has this say that they don't like it it's so versatile because you can use it for your face of course but your eyes your cheeks you got your bronzer your contour inner corner pops just all kind of beautiful stuff in here this is a really really nice face palette i mean granted it is pretty pricey so definitely i don't even know if they still sell it but if you want to buy it try to catch it on sale because it, it is pretty pricey if i recall correctly it might have been like 60 bucks i don't know but i know it was expensive so we may as well take a look at the medium as well because <laughs> i know i have all skin tones that watch my channel so this is the medium one that i bought on sale like a clown thinking oh it's pretty i can probably pull it off i can use it a little 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 it's too light <laughs> I mean, of course, I can use the highlighter. I can even pull this blush off, to be honest with you. Um, this highlighter is gorgeous as well. So there are things in here that I could use. Like, let me just swatch some of these highlighters for you so you can see what I mean. So, you know, it's it's really, really gorgeous, okay? So those are like the highlighters. So as you can see, I can use this one. You know, honestly, I can pull this one off too. It looks really light in the camera, but I can pull it off as well. It has like a bit of peachiness to it. So these two I can pull off. This one's a little light. Um, and then, like I said, this blush here is really pretty. And you know, honestly, I could probably pull this off on my cheeks as well. Let me take a look. Did I swatch this? No. So this is like the pinky tone blush, you know, and then this one is, I think that's I already swatched that, like one of the highlighters, but see the blush, very, very pink, very bright. So it's like I could definitely pull it off if I just wanted a pink cheek, <laughs> but yeah, definitely too light for we deeper chocolate girls but this is a gorgeous palette though if you're lighter skin tone very very pretty palette as well okay so next i have this um vanity makeup this is sculpt and glow palette i got this from the boxy add-on i believe 
not too long ago really cute packaging as you can see there has like the gold trim and everything really really nice um and there's a mirror in here too so this is you know the highlight and bronzing or contouring situation and i actually really really enjoyed this it looked really really nice on me the highlight and the contour um and i don't really contour so i'm thinking that maybe it pulled more like a bronzer for me but this cream highlight so so nice this here i really won't use but these two for sure really really nice now this one <laughs> this beauty bakery coffee and cocoa palette it's funny because beauty bakery is like giving me the blues but i was so just baffled by what to do with this palette for the longest time i knew it was gorgeous i knew it was beautiful and i wanted it in my collection but i was like okay this is a bronzer well what am i supposed to do with a shiny bronzer you know because i had never experimented with a shiny bronzer didn't like shiny stuff back then so that shied me away <laughs> this here you know it's kind of like your um that in between shade that you can use to kind of you know bring your uh contour and blush and you know setting powder together so it's like an in in between type brightening shade and then you have your highlighter and you blush and so this palette was just really intimidating to me but honey when i tell you this palette is amazing it is amazing when i actually got down to business and used it honey it's so so nice it's so so nice i i I don't need to be swatching, but I got a swatch. Let me just swatch these three so you guys can understand what I mean. Like the, the pigmentation is just, it's so beautiful. The color story in this face palette is just like, girl, it's so beautiful. Look at that. And yeah, I was like, how can I put all that shiny stuff on my face? But let me tell you, when you put this on your face and you blend it out, child, it is so gorgeous. So yeah, you know, if you come across that Beauty Bakery palette on sale, definitely grab it because it is gorgeous. And that palette is what made me so excited about that Neapolitan and that Brownie Bar trio. And yeah, that's why I was just like so disappointed. I was like, man, what happened here? <laughs> but this one, amazing, beautiful, beautiful palette for deeper skin tones. And the last two that I have in this bin, another one of my favorites. This is from Makeup Geek. I don't even know if they sell it anymore because it was on sale for quite a while. This has burnished, chivalry, and a blaze. So it has a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. And it's a duochrome highlighter, okay? And when I first opened this palette, I was intimidated by this as well, okay? This shade, I will say, for me, is more of a contour. Because it just pulls a little bit more gray, in my opinion. This one, oh my gosh one of the most beautiful blushes I've ever put on my cheeks. <laughs> and then when you couple it with this highlighter, girl, this palette is bomb. Okay, I love it, love it, love it. This I probably won't really use because I don't care for it. Not because it's bad. I don't care for it for my skin tone. But these two here, gorgeous. And then lastly in this bin, I have this Becca Be A Light. <laughs> one of the biggest waste of monies that I've ever spent. This one is the medium to deep face palette. <laughs> Listen, I I never should have bought this palette. Let's just leave it at that. It's a gorgeous palette. It really is. Um, but yeah, this is like such such a waste for me. It really is. I feel like this is definitely for lighter skin tones just like what am i supposed to do with this seriously what what am i supposed to do with this 
it it probably works really nicely if you are more of like a no makeup makeup type of person that just likes a really nice beautiful soft glow then i could see this totally being your jam and you totally loving this but for me someone who actually likes to see my makeup <laughs> this does not work for me okay so yeah child this is a waste of money Mm -mm. Now do nothing for me, not your girl, okay? Okay, so we've gone through two bins. I only have one more bin left, you guys, to go through. And as you can see, quite honestly, there's probably only like two, maybe three things so far that I would declutter at this point. So next i have here my natasha denona bloom blush and glow palette so this is really like your blush and highlight situation oh this is so gorgeous um my girl lily sent this to me i wanted this palette so bad oh my gosh i wanted it so bad tell me why i just refuse to pay the price for this i don't know why Cause you know when you want something real bad at least for me if you have the money you know typically you buy it but <laughs> for some reason i wouldn't buy it and she bought this for me and oh my goodness y'all well y'all if you already have this you know it is so beautiful it's so beautiful it has the cream blush up here and then the beautiful highlighters down here this like glowy blush ah oh, she's beautiful okay I'm not gonna gush too much, but yeah, she's gorgeous. Now this here is like a Ofra duo. I think I got this from the boxy add-on. It's Ofra Squad Blush Bronzer Duo Compact. No, I bought this. I bought this because they came out with this not too long ago. And I think I saw Medea J. I could have swore I saw Medea J with this. I don't know, but I had to have it. <laughs> After I saw it, I had to have it. I was like, oh, that got my name written all over it. And it is. It's gorgeous. Beautiful bronzer, beautiful blush. I mean, it, it is difficult to, you have to have the right size brush to get into these without mixing them up, you know? But it's, it's a beautiful blush and bronzer combo, honey. It is gorgeous. But yeah, I just... I don't like that just the fact that it's kind of difficult to get each product to use but honey i work it out i work it out because it's pretty okay this here this can probably be decluttered <laughs> this is from hank and henry and i know i got this from boxy charm this is the lust and lush blush and highlighter cream powder duo um i wouldn't say that it's you know it's terrible or horrible or anything it's just that the blush pigmentation if i'm remembering correctly I, I don't know i don't remember but it just seems like the blush just didn't do it for me yeah yeah i'm, I'm remembering correctly like the blush you know it, it takes a bit to build up and it kind of like faded away as I was putting it on my face. You can see it there. It's a really, really pretty color, but I just recall having to build it up quite a bit. And it took, you know, quite a few dips for me to pick that up on my brush. So I wasn't pleased with that. I don't recall having an issue with the highlighter, quite honestly. Yeah, the highlighter is gorgeous. So, you know, if I wanted to keep this, it would really just be for the highlighter. But yeah, I was a little bit disappointed in the blush from this. Okay, so next I have here, oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> this is from Pure. This is the Out of the Blue Light Up Vanity Blush Palette, okay? That's a mouthful. Really pretty packaging, as you can see. But listen oh my goodness <laughs> it's beautiful it's gorgeous i love this blush you know you have to like a glowy type of blush and the highlighter it just pairs perfectly with this blush so so beautiful you can control it doesn't have to be too pigmented it could be light or it could be you know like super bold but this is beautiful 
absolutely beautiful you can swirl it all together you can you know pull the color separately i love this so gorgeous now this funny enough i haven't even used okay <laughs> this is a little elf duo i call myself buying one of their little blush and highlighter duos that they came out with and i was like you know what? i want to try it out da -da 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 -da. y'all that writing is way too small if you can read that there you go <laughs> but <laughs> i can't read that but this is one of their little duos that i bought you know so i'm like i'm gonna try it out you know elf is shit popping coming out with some really nice quality stuff but i haven't tried it i assume it'll work out nice because i like elf blushes and i like elf highlighters but that is that now this here oh it's so pretty this is from juno and co this is their bombshell um gosh what does that say child perfectionist bombshell perfectionist palette okay it's really cute you see the lady's legs with her little pumps or high heels or whatever and yeah it's called bombshell so gorgeous okay now this palette here um it's really really pretty honestly i only would use like two of the items on my face of course this bronzer would do nothing for me this blush is beautiful though and this highlighter is beautiful this is super duper gorgeous but it's super duper glittery so even though it is a beautiful i don't know if you can see that a beautiful shade of like blush highlight whatever you want to call it it just comes off a little more glittery than i care for but you see how pretty that is child that is gorgeous so okay maybe i would use three of the items <laughs> <laughs> this palette um because that is really really pretty but sometimes it can just it can be a bit much you know but it is really really pretty so yeah i do i like this palette it's not going anywhere so that's from juno and co okay let's take a look at a couple of more of the natasha denona diamond and blush palettes of course i grabbed these when they were on sale on sephora because i had wanted them for the longest so when they went on sale honey i swiped them up this one is citrus so this is the one that actually i believe is meant for deeper skin tones and works okay for us so this is what citrus looks like of course you can see here it has the cover over the cream products so you have your blush your highlights your toppers all of that good stuff this shade here i'm still confused about but <laughs> whatever it is what it is but the rest of the palette, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. And this one here, I would say caters to more uh, lighter skin tones, but I still want it in my collection. This one is the Drea, and it's more of like the pinky tones. So yeah, you know, I can definitely use some of the products in here for sure, but I feel like the citrus is a little more you know a little more warm a little more catered to me but i wanted this one so i bought it as well now this is actually fairly new to my collection i mean i bought it in the boxy add-on a little while ago this is a set and define kit so um it's from kenya ontiveros kenya ontiveros beauty if you can see that there you go and so as you can see here it has like your bronzer your well different shades of bronzer and then it has some highlighters and brighteners in there so yeah i don't know i don't know just looking at it i would probably use this shade here and this shade here i mean you know you can always use shades like this and stuff like to set under your eyes and things like that and this one to kind of you know finish you off so definitely a nice multi-use type palette but i haven't tried it yet so we'll see now this here is from ulta beauty it's a baked sculpt and glow three in one so it's like a little three in one circular situation um santorian sun i you know sometimes i wonder when i'm thinking when i buy stuff like what what was my thought process okay the blush is pretty granted i got that the blush is pretty this highlight is a little icy 
it's a little icy for your girl okay now up here supposed to be a bronzer but this in a this is not a bronzer for me so i must have been thinking that i wanted to use this as like maybe a matte a little bit of more of a matte highlight which it would be gorgeous for that you see what i mean like so like you want to highlight your cheekbones but you don't want it to be super shimmery but you do want to see a bit of highlight you know on there this will be perfect for that because it's really like a glowy bronzer for a lighter skin tone so for me it would be a really really nice matte type highlighter if that makes sense so that's what i'm thinking my thought process was for this because chow why else would i buy this because <laughs> the highlighter part is a little bit icy for your girl the blush while it's pretty it's not like super pigmented you know so that's the blush there if you can see that it's really pretty and then this is the actual highlight so you see how icy that is like child i ain't wearing that i'll pop that in my inner corner real quick though <laughs> for an eye look yeah but yeah i'm thinking that's what i want to do with this is use that as a matte highlight on my cheekbones something not so shiny so yeah i definitely can get use out of this it's really pretty but you know definitely for more fair skin tones now these two here these are from what wet and wild i think is this wet and wild yeah wet and wild hello halo um blush lighter so i bought these two here child listen don't don't ask me what i was thinking when i bought this because we we not even gonna we not even gonna waste our time swatching this okay no this one here really really pretty though <laughs> this one is called flash me and she is gorgeous this blush and highlighter combo child i really don't grab like wet and wild stuff you know i really don't i don't know typically drugstore stuff that i buy is you know stuff i get from ulta you know different brands like i might get like beige cosmetics uh color pop juvia's you know stuff like that you can buy from ulta um or la girl stuff like that but like wet and wild and maybelline and covergirl and all that stuff aside from like foundations and stuff mm, i don't really pick up too much from those brands anymore i kind of wanted to start a series though called like what's new at the drugstore like i need to buy any more stuff right but just for you guys you know kind of like you know to pick up a few things that are coming out every week or every other week from the drugstore so you guys let me know if you'd be interested in that like i said if not i definitely don't need to be buying stuff to add to my collection because i have enough stuff but if that's something that you would like to see from me from colorful camille from kk from your girl what's new at the drugstore i would definitely do that for you guys so let me know if you're still watching okay let me know i feel like if you're still watching you probably a ride or die anyway so what's up girl let me know you want to see what's new at the drugstore let your girl know okay so this is from side pot on me i don't even know if they're still available anymore this is a blush palette um i grabbed this man probably a couple years ago now from target i think when i saw this brand there and i wanted to check them out i wasn't really all that impressed i think i tried out a foundation maybe and a powder and i took both of them back because they didn't work for me i don't know why i kept this though maybe maybe this was the one thing that worked for me i definitely need to try it again it has the blush the bronzer the highlight so yeah i'm gonna try this again if i don't like it this will get decluttered as well but i know that the other products i didn't really care for okay so we're coming down to the wire shin roxy roxasaurus contour and highlighter palette i've only used this a few times but the few times that i've used it it's actually worked rather nicely it's funny because this palette looks so boring to me <laughs> i mean i know it's just a contour and highlight palette but something about it just makes it look so boring maybe if it had a black background i would be more drawn to it i don't know but it's actually a decent uh contour and bronzer palette from what i can recall 
you know, in the highlight as well. So just have to use it again to verify. So if not, I can declutter it. Now these three <laughs> are all from Black Radiance. One of them I probably should get rid of, to be honest with you. This was like, I've had this from like day one. This is like a day one palette, okay? <laughs> This is a True Complexion Contour Palette. This one is medium to dark, which works super duper well for me um, to contour and highlight with. <sighs> yeah, this, this palette has seen a many, many of my face looks from back in the day. I, I'm not really drawn to it now so much because I have so many options, of course, but this was like a OG when I couldn't find a nice bronzer to work for me this came through clutch so yeah black radiance has always been that girl now i think a couple years ago they came out with these new ones um this one is the dark to deep in powder okay gorgeous gorgeous okay so this one i actually can use as well if i just want to go a little bit deeper use this for my actual bronzer use this for a contour and this is a highlight so i can use this one as well very very nice and then this is the cream version of the medium to dark so yeah this one i don't know it might be time for me to get rid of it because i've had it for quite a while <laughs> but yeah beautiful if you like cream products oh my goodness and this highlighter let me swatch it because like i said it's probably time for me to get rid of it at this point you know it's not as creamy as it used to be well shoot it's creaming up <laughs> the more that i run and rub through it and get past that top layer but um yeah it's it's a beautiful um, face palette so yeah see this one in the middle here the sculpting you can't even see it because it's like the same my skin tone so I can use that for like um, what do you call it concealing and stuff like that under my eyes and then the contour shade gorgeous so yeah this one is the medium to dark but it's in cream form instead of powder so yeah if you prefer cream then you might want to grab this because it is amazing okay you guys and lastly i have here my becca chloe and malika this one what is this it's a face palette bronze blush and glow so yeah this is a face palette and i'm not sure um if my girl dj sent this to me i don't remember but i think she might have but this is gorgeous <laughs> okay it's really really pretty um i don't recall if i used or tried to use this bronzer it seems like i did um i don't recall so i can't say it looks really really light but for some reason i feel like i really really like this palette the blushes and the highlight ugh, listen listen gorgeous okay absolutely gorgeous and this is one where i would probably look at it and be like uh-uh nope but when i actually used it on my face it was beautiful so very very glad to have this i'm i'm pretty sure my girl bought this for me um but it's beautiful so that's it you guys that's all three of my bins <sighs> and all of my like face blush bronzer highlighter duos trios all of that stuff quads <laughs> so yeah like i said not really a declutter really just kind of going through and just seeing what i need to use in my shop my stashes and stuff like that because sometimes i get lazy and i don't want to dig through all of my stuff because it's not really that easy to access another reason why i want to switch up my setup so that i can have my stuff a little more easy to get to so anyway i'm just yap yapping at this point Thank you so much for watching. If you are still here, oh, I love and appreciate you so much, okay? So yeah, if you liked it, hit that like. Go ahead and leave your girl a comment. Don't forget to let me know about the what's new at the drugstore stuff if you're interested because, you know, your girl can always do a little shopping. 
and that's it so now i need to go ahead and put this stuff away so thanks so much for watching you guys and i'll see you on the next one toodles